Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Izzy and we will be reading a book today called Gilberto and the Wind. It's a yellow cover, if you happen to have it, pull it out. And the author is Marie Hall Etz. Here is Gilberto and the Wind by Marie Hall Etz. I am Gilberto. And this is the story of me and the wind. I hear wind whispering at the door. You who he whispers. You who So I get my balloon and I run out to play. <gasps> what color is his balloon? At first, wind is gentle and just floats my balloon around the air. But then, with a jerk, he grabs it away and carries it up to the top of a really big tree. Wind, oh wind, I say, blow it back to me, please. But he won't. He just laughs and whispers. Wind loves to play with the wash on the line. He blows the pillow slips into balloons and shakes the sheets and twists the apron strings and he pulls out all the clothespins that he can. Then he tries on the clothes, though. He knows they're too small for him. And Wind loves umbrellas. What do we use umbrellas for? Once, when I took one out in the rain, he tried to take it away from me. And when he couldn't, he broke it. Oh man, the wind must be very strong. If the gate in the pasture is left unlatched, Wind plays with that too. He opens it up and then bangs it shut making it squeak and cry. Wind, oh wind, I say, and I go and climb on. Give me a ride, but with me on the gate is too heavy. Wind can't move it at all. When the grass in the tall, when the grass is tall in the meadow, wind and I like to race. Wind runs ahead, then comes back and starts all over. But he always wins because he just runs over the top of the grass and I have to run through it and touch the ground with my feet. It's a lot more work. When the big boys on the hill have kites to fly, wind helps them out. Wind carries their kites way up to the sky and all around. But when I have a kite, wind won't fly it at all. He just drops it. Wind, oh wind, I say. I don't like you today. How do you think he's feeling if his kite can't get up in the air like the big kids? When the apples are ripe in the fall, I run with wind, wind to the pasture and wait under the tree, this big apple tree. And wind always blows one down for me and I get to eat it. Does anyone else eat apples? And when I have a boat with a paper sail, wind comes and sails it just for me just like he sails big sailboats for sailors on the sea. And when I have a pinwheel, wind comes and plays too. First I blow it myself to show him. <gasps> then I hold it out or hold it up. And wind blows it for me. And when he blows it, he turns it so fast that it whistles and sings and all I can see is a blur. Like that. 
Wind likes my soap bubbles best of all. He can't make the bubbles. I have to do that. But he carries them way up into the air for the sun to color. Then he blows some back and makes me laugh when they burst in my eyes or on the back of my hand. It's him blowing. Have you ever popped a balloon? A bubble? When the leaves have fallen off the trees, I like to sweep them into a pile. But then wind comes along, and to just to show that he can sweep without a broom, wind scatters the leaves all about again, and he blows the dirt in my face. Sometimes wind is so strong, he starts breaking the trees and knocking down fences. Then I'm afraid. I run in the house and lock the door. And when wind comes howling after me and tries to squeeze in through the keyhole, I tell him no. But then comes a day when wind is all tired out. Wind and I whisper, Oh wind, where are you? Shh, answers wind. And he stirs one dry leaf to show where he is. So I lie down beside him, and we both go to sleep under the willow tree. The end. Hope everyone enjoyed the book. You learned a lot of things about the wind. The wind is very strong, can help blow bubbles, help sail boats. The wind is strong enough to blow leaves everywhere, so next time you go outside, try and, try and listen for the wind, and maybe you can feel the wind. So next time you go outside, make sure to double check if you hear him or see him, or feel him. But for the parents out there who watch the video with their little one, there are a few things you can do at home to expand their learning about what was mentioned in the book. You can easily make some bubbles out of dish soap and water and just mix it up together with your children. And bubbles will of course form if you don't happen to have the small wand that you can dip in a typical bubble solution and blow. Um, that is totally fine. You'll create bubbles just by mixing and you can scoop them in your hands and give them a nice blow. So that's one. Just helping your little one become aware of what wind is and what time of day do we feel the wind or does it matter on a, during the season? Um, and sometimes you can even hear it if you really pay attention. So I hope this helps and gives everyone a little something extra to do during this time. So thank you for tuning in and we will see you next time.